Ash. Hello? Are you going somewhere? I'm sure you'll be happy to hear that I'm leaving town. Oh, no, no. No, I'm not happy about that at all. Look, please, for my daughter's sake, for my grandchild's sake, please, please don't go. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you'd be happy to see me kicking the dust of Landview from my feet. Well, now I actually think it's much better if you stay. Excuse me, ma'am, but you didn't leave an awful lot for interpretation. You made it quite clear that you don't want me to be a part of Jessica's life. Yes, I know that, but I am very concerned about Jessica and the baby. Oh, wow. Me too. And Tess. Me too. Tess can be... Unpredictable. Yes. 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 Look, if she gets terribly upset, it could adversely affect her pregnancy big time, all right? You seem to be able to help her. Please, please stay. I don't seem to be helping her very much. That's why I'm leaving. It's all right. You just let it out. No. No, damn it. I'm not just going to stand here and cry all over your coat. It's all right to cry. No, it's not all right. It's not all right for me to cry. And this is all because of Nash. I never want to see his face again. I don't think you mean that. Really? Look at me. I'm a mess. I'm miserable. And it's all because of him. And it wasn't supposed to happen to me. Why not? Is it your job not to get your heart broken? No. I don't know. <sighs> Have you ever dealt with these feelings before? What's your point? Well, there's someone you know that might be able to help you handle this. Oh. Well, you want me to go and talk to that shrink again? No, 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 not Dr. Jameson. Then who do you want me to go weeping to, Clint? Why don't you let Jessica help you handle the load? What happened between you and Tess? With all due respect, Mrs. Davidson, I'd rather not discuss that with you. But believe me when I say that it is better if I leave. Well, I, frankly, I've always felt that way. I, I firmly believed that your presence was keeping Jessica from getting better. Yes, you've made that quite clear. But now Dr. Jameson feels that you are integral to Jessica's recovery. How so? He thinks the status quo will help keep Jesse balanced. <laughs> and that's me, the status quo. Oh, look, that kid didn't come out right. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Okay. I'm not the enemy here. Although I... I can understand why you might feel that way, you know. Where... You have to realize I'm the first one to accept Tess. Really? I was the first one to accept Tess as a whole person. I'm sorry, but I really have to disagree with you. Oh, that, okay, fine, all right. The first one here at home. Mm. And unfortunately, the very last to accept you. And again, I'm for that, I'm sorry. I understand. <sighs> Look, the thing is that Clint and I have a very long history of digging in and butting heads, and when he just suddenly approved of you, I instinctively disapproved of you. I suppose I've been disapproved of for much less. Okay, don't misunderstand me. Obviously, my loyalties lie with Antonio. You've made that clear. Yes, but this is not the time to side with one man over another. I have to be on Jessica's side, and only hers. Mm, I wouldn't expect you to do anything but. When Jessica is integrated, you know Tess will be a part of her. And even though I know Antonio intends to make a life with her, I think that Jesse will need to know who and what was important to Tess. And there's the very real chance that this baby she's carrying is yours. I'm out. So you just want me to step aside and let Jessica take over? All I'm saying is that Jessica has a little more experience in affairs of the heart. Jessica is an affair of the heart. Well, now, you both have your strong suits. You're better at handling certain emotional trauma while she's better at handling, well, the pain that you're in right now. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. 
you're good. You're working me. No, I'm not doing that. No, of course not. Because I'm your little baby girl, right? And you love me. <laughs> and you think that just maybe I'll pour my little heart out to you and tell you all my dirty little secrets. And then maybe we can sit around and cry about it. No. And you'll know exactly why I'm here. I'm not doing that, and that's not what I meant. I know what you meant, okay? You want Jessica back. Vicky wants Jessica back. Natalie wants Jessica back. Antonio wants Jessica back. Hey, let's take a poll. Everybody that wants Jessica back, raise their hands. What's the matter? Why isn't your hand raised? I think your argument with Nash has got you a little agitated. Agitated? No, I'm pissed as hell. All right, Tess, I'm not going to push this. I'm not. But I want you to know something. I'm always here for you. Always. And right now, I think you should call Nash. No way. You're supposed to apologize to me, Nash, and if you love me, you will. Look, we need your help. You're asking the one person who would do anything to keep Tess around. Now, I'm sure that you find that selfish, but I'm sorry. I love Tess. I want to be with Tess forever. So why are you leaving? It is ironic, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I don't want to. Well, you are, so obviously you have a reason. Tess is angry. She's confused. And as I'm sure you're aware, she can be a handful. Oh, yes, yes, that she can. She's got an awful lot of stuff on her plate right now. Antonio, Jessica, the baby, me. It's all overwhelming her. But that's precisely why you should stay. No, I'm afraid that's precisely why I have to leave. The irony. You see, I need her to be tough. To be tough, she needs to cool off. And to cool off, I need to not be here. We don't want Tess to be tough. That's because you want Jessica. But I love Tess. If I don't give her a little bit of space right now... You think she'll revert to being Jessica? <laughs> yeah. I can't lose her again. The only way for me to keep Tess is for me to leave Tess. I'm sure that must be very difficult for you to do. Oh, I'm not leaving forever. I love her too much for that. Damn it, Tess, why you always gotta make things harder than they have? He better call, because I'm not going to grovel. Oh, God, stop crying. Stop it. Don't hold them back. Shut up. You think you're so smart. You don't even know how to cry. No. That's your job. Little cry, baby. Then let me out. Let me do the crying. Cute, but no way. This is Nash's fault, and I'm not going to let him get away with it. Get the antiseptic. You okay, Chris? Not even close. What are you looking at? to disappoint you two, but it's still just little old Tess. I can do this, Natalie. Thank you. 
What happened? Well, I don't know. The table and the flowers got in a fight with the mirror, so I had to break it up. Well, how noble of you. Thank you. I got pissed, okay, Natalie? But I take it on things, on other people. I just had to blow off some steam and I'm fine now. You know, it doesn't look that bad, Jessica. It's not my name. He's just trying to help. Yeah, but maybe you should have a doctor look at it. Maybe you should butt out. Okay. You know what, Christian? I know a lot of people must look at you as just some old ex-con. Not me. You were actually nice to me before you went to Statesville. What do you mean? Jessica getting mad at you for Vicky's missing 30-year-old scotch. That was you? I was thirsty. All that time, I was defending him, and it was you? Hey, I never blamed him. It was Jessica. Which, come on, Natalie, don't kid yourself. That was probably the only reason he was hanging around in the first place. He wanted to give another try with a good twin. You bitch! Hey, hey, Natalie, hold on. Good heavens! What happened? This little dipso here. sure that Nash has done the wrong thing. What? What did Nash do? Mr. Brennan. Okay. Then I assume you've changed your mind about staying. No, I, um, I forgot to do something. Well, I am pleased to return. I have something you left behind. I believe this money is yours. It's, uh, it's for the broken glass. Oh, this is the Buchanan residence, sir. I assure you, with the nature of the Buchanan demeanor, glassware is calculated into the household budget. Nigel. Nash, you going somewhere? California. I thought it best I put a little distance between myself and Tess. California? Yeah. It's a lot of distance. Yeah. You don't want to be that far away from her, do you? I don't want to be away from her at all. Then reconsider. I appreciate everything that you've done for me, sir. But I need to go. Mr. Reston has made it quite clear that things could get um, complicated if I don't. I see. Besides, I, 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 I should get back to the vineyard. I mean, it's Tess and Nash. Can't you get a caretaker? Actually, I already have one. But, uh, sir, if I can't be here with Tess, I think I'd rather be somewhere where I can at least do something constructive. I understand. Do you see that she gets this? I'll make sure that she gets it. Thank you very much for everything you've done, Mr. Buchanan. What did Nash do? Nothing. I just think it was completely the wrong time for him to leave. Well, where did he go? I don't know. Uh, home to California, maybe. I don't know. Did you tell him to go? What did you say? Why did you force him to go? I didn't, Tess. You did. <laughs> 